Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. <coughs> Excuse me, I've still got this cough. I have got this round canvas and it's on my spinner. I am using the global, ooh, that's making me feel dizzy. I've got the global impasto paints. So I'll show you what colours I'm going to use as I go along, if you don't mind. So my paints are mixed with my normal pouring medium. <laughs> my um, one dog is upset because she's had a bone and she thinks that the other dogs are going to take it off her. So that's what you hear, these naughty kids. Rightio. So this is called Sand but I've added a good lump of white in it to dull it down because I didn't want it so um, sort of dark sandy colour. I want it a nice creamy colour. So I'm just going to give it one coat of the uh, base coat. Oh, there's a little gooby bit. Knock it off. Knock it off. Okie doke. I did some, um, I was doing some playing around with some leftover paints a couple of days ago and got some wonderful results from just experimenting so um and then when i put it on my channel and other sites of course i got oh have you got a video for that and i hadn't because i just was using up some leftover paints which is very minimal as you will see um haven't got um much left of I hadn't got much left of any of them. So this is what the colours were, I'll show you. So I loaded a cup up, so I'm going to put a bit more of that cream in. That looks a bit lumpy, I might not have stirred it well enough. Oh, that naughty dog, I'm going to go. Okay, and then I've got the metallic copper. So. This is quite thick, I, I, and I wanted it this way this time because I'm going to do a ring pour and I find that it keeps the rings looking better. This is antique gold mixed with some metallic pearl to dull it down a bit. That one is a bit runnier, which I wish that it wasn't. And I'm sorry about my dog, but that's life. So I'm just going to... Um, do this that is a bit whatever it is a bit um, lumpy in that but I won't stress out about it so just keep don't put too much of each color in um, so you've got lots of um, the different colors you're not gonna have a big gap of one color and not the next so I'll try not to put too much in each um, pour. I may not use this whole cup full, or then again I may. So just one more layer. So this is all it is, is the metallic bronze, the metallic antique gold, and this sandy colour. Of course, I've customised them all except for the metallic copper this time. And I'm basically going to do a ring pour first of all. <clears throat> so I may start just doing my ring. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I didn't do that before. Woo! Okay. So this is what I basically did on my test. So there's, I have, definitely haven't used all that cup. So it's all that I used. This is my test that I did previously. And then I have mixed Amsterdam Lamp Black with... Uh, flow trial so I did 50 50 mix and at 50% the black and 50% flow trial but it was quite thick so I added a little bit more flow trial I want it thick but I don't want it 
too thick <laughs> if you get my drift so I'm going to pour some of that on there like so and I'm going to quickly quickly tip it over and do that and this is what I got before so I'm so happy that I got this look that I got before because everyone was saying if you've got to do a video okay I'm going to use my skewery bit my nanoma skewery and I'm going to wiggle it a bit and wiggle it a bit more and then I'm going to it's very simple it's not really any rocket science or anything I'm going to pour a little bit more of my base colour on so I've got some paint to spin off and then I'm gonna spin my spinnery thing okie doke let's give this a go Ooh. Tempted to dip my Um, that nice lace again through it through it through it so that's how easy it is it's not with any special um, other paints or anything it's just my normal same paint the only thing I'm just using this to swipe it which I often do when I'm just doing a swipe on color you know so you can add as many of these gorgeous celly bits just all it's taking is this so just these two ingredients Devil's in the detail, look at this. Okay, when you come closer, the absolute gorgeous effects in it are quite stunning, and yet they're done so simply. Look at this. I think now I maybe should have spun or tilted out my, um, what you call it, my ring pour more because I did that on my test one when I was just playing in paint. I, I did the complete ring pour and tilted it so I had lots of the striations, you know, the circle-y things and they absolutely made it stand out so much nicer than this 
but you know what I'm really happy with that that's pretty good so the paint will dry fine it'll just uh, see where the lumpy bits there it usually absorbs into the paint into the canvas nicely and suck it in and and then that with a coat of resin will just pop your socks off so my lovely zoo asked for this particular piece I'll show you how I did it of course you can't ever get exactly the same but that is how I did the piece that everybody was asking me about on the um, Facebook uh, acrylic art pages and my art page. So there you go. You take care of yourselves. I will be back tomorrow. I'm here every day. So please join me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I appreciate it. And it costs nothing. Nil. Nout. Okie doke. Until tomorrow. Bye for now. Of course. I'm an experimenter, so I pushed on and I did a swipe with it swirling and I'm going to do, which you're probably going to say, what? But don't you do it if you're upset about it. I'm going to do a chain pull through this. You, so it's got the whole lot, it's got a pull, it's got a swipe. It's got a ring bore, and now it's going to have a chain pull. Rightio, let me get this. Oh, that naughty dog. My dog is in season, and she's got a pair of, of pants on that <laughs> stop dogs getting into trouble. And he keeps trying to pull them off her. I know it sounds disgusting, but that's what you try to do. Okie doke. <laughs> well, it was just a little try of something. Benson, you naughty boy! I'm gonna have to. Um, oh no, you say, oh no, not the balloon! You don't have to do it if it's your art. That's it. I just wanna take away a bit of this thickness off the bottom here. Hey, 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 everybody's getting. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to dull this down, you puppies, naughty puppies. Oh gosh, these are beautiful. See, I love them, so it's your art room, your rules, your way. Rosie, what's going on? Plonkers. I'm just gonna do this on this bottom piece. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Oh, look at that. I love it. So you're going to have everybody's dogs barking, you plonkers, you plonkers, and take you all a walk. Well, there you go. That's the <laughs> next bit I added. Just, you know, I'm just trying everything. You don't have to do it. If you don't like it, don't do it. But if you do, have a go at it.